Okay, so basically, uh, we open synchronously this uh, this workshop. Okay, so uh, Internet of the first edition. Uh, as uh, Michael was saying, uh, in truth, it is it has a long tradition this this workshop, but this year we changed the the, the name and joined uh, other organizations. So it's uh, the international workshop, the first one actually on healthcare intelligent multi agent systems and um, the scope of the workshop, as the name says, is to bring together the multi-agent community and uh, all those practitioners in the in the in the healthcare scenario, uh, and discuss the latest research. So uh, it is still a workshop, so we still value early works with uh, presenting interesting ideas uh, and similar. Um, here I put the, the new main site of the workshop. We have to change because of some problems with the old one. Uh, I think you now should also see the, uh, let's say the alternate website we, we put up. Uh, here is a, a, a specific page I think I shared with, uh, with uh, all the authors uh, about the, the, the way this workshop will, uh, will run. And uh, as you probably already know, uh, this workshop was intended to be totally offline and asynchronous due to the, uh, the ongoing pandemic situation. We know that uh, all the workshops and conferences uh, have, have been uh, uh, basically reorganized. Uh, so uh, all of the authors of the workshop um, sent us the recorded version of the talks. Uh, somebody. Uh, some of uh, amongst the author who were uh, lucky enough got his presentation or her presentation actually available uh, in the platform Underline IO, which was sponsored by the uh, the workshop chairs, but some others don't. Uh, so basically, what we did is to set up a, a shared Google document. Uh, in our opinion, it was the, the, the easiest thing to do. Um, and also, uh, this way it is possible uh, to open the document also to known authors. So if anybody would like to, to join us in this, in the discussion, um, you can. Uh, so uh, here is the minified URL uh, if you want to access, uh, if somebody who is not author, so who did not receive the mail wants to join. And basically the document uh, is this one here. Um, what you have is a bit of information about the organization, and then I set up a, let's say, a space for each for each uh, um, paper and presentation. Uh, I set up a very simple comment section. You can directly write text, or you can also use the comment functionality. I think that guests uh, can only use the comment functionality uh, to avoid messing up with the with the document, but uh, all the authors should be able to directly instead uh, edit the text. Uh, the idea is, uh, as it is in the in the slide, the idea is that uh, everybody who wants some 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 connection, okay, some some social connection with others, uh, should take a look and edit the document. And also, if uh, if uh, anybody wants to have instead uh, a live question answering session, a live discussion session. Uh, just to send as organizer an email, and uh, we will set up uh, a session uh, in the next few days, uh, as soon as as, uh, as it is possible, uh, between the authors and the interested audience, uh, and act basically uh, as moderators in this in this discussion. So, uh, obviously, uh, everyone is also free to directly contact the authors of the paper, but if they want to have a more, uh, let's say, uh, a more usual format. Uh, like being in the actual room of the workshop and do the questions with the chairs and stuff like that, feel free to, to ask us to organize this, uh, this section. Uh, so here I think I can leave uh, a word to either Sara or, uh, or Michael, which are, uh, are in, the, in the organization committee since a long time, to tell us a few words, a few words about this. 
this healthcare domain and what multi-agent systems have, uh, have to do with, with it. Uh, do you want? I, I just wanted to, to tell to you all that um, this, uh, this workshop has a long story since uh, the first edition is, was in uh, 2002 in uh, Lyon with uh, AK. So it, is, it has a long history. This is the first year that we have, uh, have uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, edition, but uh, of course the topics are still uh, the same. And we, we strongly believe that uh, multi-agent systems can uh, really impact uh, with, uh, with uh, the, the, te the technologies built in, uh, in this field, the healthcare domain, uh, which uh, as we, we are living uh, also today, cannot, uh, cannot just uh, ground on wet lab technologies. We, we are seeing now that there is a... a a lot of uh, research to find uh, also ICT, IoT technologies uh, to, to support uh, uh, this situation now, but uh, every situation in healthcare. So we think that uh, this uh, research topic has, uh, is really promising. And uh, yes, we believe that uh, it, it can just uh, uh, become bigger and bigger this, uh, this even in uh, this year and the next years uh, coming. So I don't know, uh, Mikhail, if you want to add something about uh, the main research uh, topics uh, for you. Well, I think, um, what, what, I mean, as you say, I mean, the topic of uh, multi-agent systems, it is an agent supply to healthcare will, will grow. As an example, uh, there, there are some initiatives also to apply this to support the COVID-19 uh, <clears throat> situation. And one of the, those examples is um, uh, using simulations. And there is um, a lot of uh, simulations which are run currently on <clears throat> COVID-19 using the, I think it is the NetLogo platform, which is a simple yeah. platform to be used uh, with a lot of, uh, simulation setups and data which are shared and I think in each country you can have access to some data we for instance in our institute we, we try to to support also the local authorities with some exactly. data analysis uh, another example that we we are also starting is uh, as we are working with chatbots and, and personalized support I mean and and there there is a, a need for to support people at home which will stay at home. That's the problem. So yes. um, people at risk will stay at home. So to have personalized support for physical exercises. So we we, we will uh, deploy, we hope to deploy these kind of things. And I think there are, there are other initiatives to, to, to apply intelligent agents and multi systems uh, now in this in this period. So I think uh, it's a good example of how, how, uh, how this is useful. Yes. Also, we are we are doing tracking of people to to identify all uh, the the people they met previously. They 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 are ill. So yes, of course, uh, yeah. everybody I think around the community is now trying to help with uh, with uh, the uh, every, everyone has uh, own uh, experience. Own um, uh, yes. So, Stefano, what is going on after I? Maybe I can you go in the next slide? Yes. I, okay, yes. I, I wanted to say that we received this year 11 uh, papers, uh, out of which we accepted seven papers. Uh, so these uh, papers are going to be published in the Journal of Medical Systems. So we hope that we are able to go ahead with uh, with this uh, this publication. So also to authors, uh, we will keep in touch uh, with you for uh, for this. Yeah. Uh, so Stefano. Papers. Yeah. Uh, basically, here I I just did a quick uh, overview of uh, of the papers. Uh, here are uh, as uh, Sarah was saying uh, the seven accepted paper, and I think they do a. Uh, um, a good job, even if the sample size is small, I think they do a good job in showing the variety of, of uh, tasks for which multi-agent systems and the agent abstraction in more generally could, could be applied in, in the, in the healthcare domain for, for, for different goals. Uh, 
for instance, the first paper by by uh, by Kate uh, is, is basically uh, using the agents as a metaphor for a digital avatar, which is meant to uh, provide some psychological and emotional support to, uh, to people with, with uh, mental or emotional fragility. Uh, then we have a mathematical model, uh, which is proposed by, by Angelica, which uh, joined us. So good morning. Uh, then we have instead uh, a few examples where the multi-agent um, framework is mostly used as an infrastructure, as an execution platform. I I, I would say, uh, for instance, in the in the in the paper by by Jean Paul and 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 Michael, if I if I interpreted it uh, it correctly. Uh, then we have a few more by by Sarah, for instance. Uh, again, using the multi-agent uh, framework as an uh, execution platform. Uh, in one paper, the, the last one here, for uh, starting to investigate how the concept of digital twin can be applied in the, in the healthcare domain. And um, in another paper, the, the, the first here, actually, uh, in uh, understanding how uh, I would say the two words, uh, the two uh, most outstanding sources of intelligence nowadays in, in systems, which are multi-agent system on one hand and, and um, um, non-symbolic, sub-symbolic artificial intelligence like machine learning approaches on the other hand, can come together uh, again to offer decision support in the healthcare domain. Uh, then we have uh, another contribution, which is basically uh, again using uh, the agent abstraction as a processing unit, uh, which is the, the contribution from MoMAD. Uh, and then finally, uh, another contribution for modeling and simulation, which is obviously, uh, I would say, probably the most uh, widespread application of uh, multi-agent system in modeling and simulating uh, complex phenomena or uh, complex dynamics in, in some in some system. So uh, I hope basically you uh, enjoy this, this paper. Uh, as I said once more, just in case uh, somebody was not here at the very beginning, um, you can uh, you should be able to access this. Um, this shared document where you have the links to the to all the talks, uh, even those talks which are not yet available uh, on the underlying I.O. platform. Uh, so we put here directly the, the screencast-o-matic link you, you uh, kindly provided us. Uh, and then feel free to comment and again feel free to ask for uh, live sessions amongst authors uh, if you want. Uh, just send us organizer an email. Please uh, put all organizers uh, each cheat to maximize your your chances, uh, and we will set up a live a live session to to discuss uh, discuss the different papers. Uh, well, basically, if if uh, nobody has uh, something to add, I think uh, we can close this this uh, this opening uh, and let you enjoy the the, the presentation at the possibly at a more comfortable uh, time than, than now, <laughs> depending on your time zone. <laughs> so if anybody has something to say, please go ahead, don't be shy. Yes, I, I just want to thank everybody and especially the organizers for uh, setting up the, the workshop even in this uh, special situation because of uh, COVID-19 and uh, I think it was uh, very, very hard work for you. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, I uh, want to, to thank you all for this. And uh, like uh, Sarah said, I, uh, I'm working in uh, multi-agent system since a uh, few years ago now, and I uh, believe strongly in them. So I think that this this workshop is really a good uh, initiative, especially for me. I have to uh, I have to hardly uh, to hardly uh, push 
the use of the multi-agent system because on in, uh, in uh, uh, image processing now everybody wants to use deep learning and it's <laughs> yeah. really, yes it's not really uh, really uh, easy to uh, to support Fine. yes to support multi-agent system and to find people who uh, who uh, likes like me to use them every every time and in every situation so uh, thank you all for organizing uh, those uh, this event and uh, i hope they, there will be more uh, in the future yes yeah i hope so i think so because as, as we said this workshop has a long tradition so there will always be interesting interest i think in, in trying to utilize the agent abstraction in, in healthcare so Yes, I, I, I am quite confident that this workshop can can run for, for some more years. I hope we will meet uh, in real life next yeah, time in the next <laughs> <Hopefully>. workshop. <laughs> Somewhere. Yes. Yeah, I fully agree. So the workshop will continue. So that's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, thanks everybody. I will uh, edit this opening session we have and put it somewhere where it is reachable by, by basically uh, everybody. And again, thank you, and do not hesitate to contact us organizers in case of, uh, of any need. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, and Goodbye, enjoy. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.